Here we have a typical drab laminate countertop that's seen better days. It's been burned, stained, worn out, and is splitting apart with water and food residue penetrating into the underlying surface. But now with the Spreadstone countertop finishing kit, this old kitchen counter is just one day away from achieving a brand new elegant look. This countertop was just washed with a damp cloth and multi-purpose cleaner to remove any food residues or oils that might have been on the surface. So now we're going to proceed with masking off and protecting any adjoining surfaces. First we're going to apply masking tape carefully along the edge of the countertop backsplash where it meets the wall tile. Take your time to ensure that the edge you are creating is crisp and straight. You will also need to mask painted wall surfaces carefully where they meet up with the countertop as well. Use low tack painter's tape. Next, you will need to protect your cabinets. Use a plastic drop sheet like this to guard them from the countertop coatings. With your surfaces protected, this is the time to make any necessary repairs to the underlying surface. Large unsightly holes, seams and cracks in your old laminate countertop or table that could transmit through your brand new finish should be filled. Here we have an open seam and a crack where the water has penetrated repeatedly, causing the underlying wood to swell. To fix this, we'll just cut away some of the damaged loose laminate and swelled wood with a utility knife. Remove the debris and sand some of the surrounding laminate to rough it up. and remove any sanding dust. Now to fill the wood in our surface, we're going to use a quick setting drywall spackle. Drywall spackle works just as well on wood tabletops. Smooth out the spackle to ensure that the void is filled completely and there are no remaining indentations. Repeat these steps elsewhere as required before proceeding. For simple holes like this, just sand, and patch. When the patches are fully dry, sand them carefully to make them flush with the surrounding area. When the countertop finish is applied over top, you will have a tough stone surface that will look brand new. Now that surface repairs have been made, the final step is to thoroughly scuff the laminate. This is important because it will create profile to which the countertop primer coat will effectively bond. Use the 80 grit sandpaper in your kit. There's no right or wrong way to do this step. Just scratch it up. If you're seeing scratches like this, you're doing a great job. Do this to the whole surface. Then wash it one more time to remove any fine sanding debris and you're ready to go. For protecting sinks and fixtures where they meet with the countertop, you could either lift them up or pop them out completely before you begin, or you can leave them in place and mask them off carefully as we're doing here. Just move your way around, carefully meeting up with the existing countertop surface, and mask off the metal completely. The first step in refinishing your laminate countertop or table is to apply the primer coat. With your primer well stirred, roll on two uniform coats with your yellow striped 4 inch roller. On your first coat, you may notice that some of the underlying countertop or table surface is showing through. That's completely normal. After your second coat, everything will be completely hidden by the primer. Use standard painting practices, cutting in your corners and edges first, then cover the remaining surface with your roller. Apply the primer with smooth uniformity. Avoid excessive texture that could produce a rougher final finish. Wait about 30 minutes before rolling on the second coat. Your second application of base coat is not meant to completely recoat the entire surface. 
Instead, you will only be applying along the front edges of your countertop or table, since they are a continual point of impact in daily use. This is also the time to spot apply a thin coat of base coat to any areas where the underlying surface is still showing through. With both coats applied and the surface looking uniform, you can proceed with the next step in as little as 30 minutes. The product in this tray was stirred thoroughly from the bottom up before it was poured into the tray. Now as we load up the stone coating roller, we are stirring the coating contents even further. The decorative stone coating is simple to apply, apart from a few minor details. Like before, you will be applying two uniform coats. The main difference this time is that you want good distribution of the decorative stone speckle as you roll it onto your counter or tabletop. Applying this product is easy. All you do is roll it down in a repetitive crisscross pattern, like this, until the surface is covered. In nature, every piece of stone looks different, with random speckle and color highlights. This easy technique will let you achieve the same thing, with no special skill or artistic capability. Once the material is on, immediately pass the roller over the wet surface several times, to ensure that it's applied uniformly, with no excessive buildup in any particular area. Just keep moving along coating all horizontal and vertical edges as thoroughly as you can with your roller. Roll downwards following the contour of vertical edges, like this, to ensure that the stone mix is evenly applied. This packs on added stone durability for performance and also provides a beautiful, uniform, speckled stone appearance. To apply the stone coating in tight spots and in corners, Use your small brush as you did with the primer. Only this time, dab the material into those areas to deposit the decorative elements evenly. Then, as before, fill in the remaining larger areas with the crisscross rolling method. Take your time around faucets and other fixtures to be sure that your coverage is uniform. This product is water-based with plenty of available working time if you need it so there's no need to rush. Repeat these steps until the remaining surface has been completely covered, and that's it. Let the coating dry for about one hour, and you're ready to apply the second coat in exactly the same way. So once again, load up your countertop decorative coating roller, and roll the product down in a random crisscross pattern. After distributing the product on the surface, remember to roll over it a few times to flatten it down. Leaving it on too thick will leave excessive texture on the surface and decrease your coverage rate. The beauty of this counter and tabletop coating system is the sheer simplicity of its application. A few simple roller and brush strokes are all it takes to achieve beautiful results. Dab material into your corners and along edges and roll out the remaining area until the surface has been uniformly covered a second time. With both coats of the stone coating applied, and now cured for 24 hours, we are going to sand down the surface. This is important for refining the stone finish and removing any excess texture to make it smooth for easy cleaning. This step also completely exposes the stone coating's granite-like character. This product gets extremely hard very fast, so if you would prefer the sanding to be a bit easier, you have the option of sanding it down in as little as three to four hours after the final coat before it has had a chance to reach full hardness. Before sanding, put on the dust mask that was included in your kit. Start off with the 80 grit sandpaper to aggressively shave off the most prominent texture in the surface. Sand in a circular motion to avoid any linear patterns or scratches. Along edges, sand the finish more gently, following the contours of your countertop or table. 
An extra few minutes of care at this time will give you smoothly contoured edges and the results you want. Almost instantly, the beauty of real stone is beginning to emerge. If you prefer, you can use an electric sander to get the surface to your desired level of smoothness faster. For best control when doing edges, sanding by hand is still the recommended option. As you move along, right after smoothing a section of the surface with the rougher 80 grit sandpaper, switch to the softer 120 grit to give the surface a final polish. When sanding is complete, all dust from the surface should be thoroughly removed with a vacuum. And then wipe down with a damp cloth. If a vacuum is not available, careful sweeping should be employed. The goal is to ensure that no dust is left behind to cloud the finish when the clear top coat is applied. With sanding complete, you can probably see the beautiful stone character starting to emerge. When the clear coat is applied, the brilliance of your new countertop finish will come to life before your eyes. All of the decorative speckle will become prominent. Look for any tiny spots that might have been damaged by sanding, like this, and just dab a little stone coating on with your finger and let it dry. This is the last step in your counter or tabletop refinishing process, and it should not be performed until the countertop stone coating has been allowed to cure for at least 24 hours. Stir the clear coat thoroughly before use. Stir gently to avoid addition of air bubbles into the coating. Roll on the material with slow, gentle strokes. Apply the product moderately and avoid excessive pooling. Pass over the wet coating a few times to ensure uniform distribution. To avoid trapping bubbles in the finish, don't overwork the clear coat after it's been applied. Otherwise, this is just the same simple application as the rest of the countertop system. Once complete, your stone finish will be locked beneath a clear, tough shield. Use your small brush to gently cut in edges and corners and continue until the surface is completely covered. After about four hours, apply a second uniform coat in exactly the same manner. If you are unable to apply the second clear coat within 24 hours, the surface will need to be gently sanded and wiped down with a damp cloth before recoating. Once your second clear coat has been applied, the job is done. Let the clear coat cure for 24 hours and maintain light use for the first seven days. With your new countertop installed and fully cured, you have a tough stone surface that should serve you well for years. To help keep your new surface in great shape, we recommend the following common safeguards. When using hot cookware, use a trivet to protect the surface from extreme heat. For cutting foods during meal preparation, a cutting board should be used to shield the surface from possible damage. And finally, wipe away spills and keep your new surface clean with a damp cloth or multi-purpose kitchen cleaner. That's it. You're ready to enjoy your brand new surface with the new Spreadstone Countertop Finishing Kit by Deitch Coatings.